Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's here, me here again from Swing Trade FX. And Happy New Year to people who are just joining us. Um, it's a very beautiful starting of the year because the market is really looking good. And, you know, more trade opportunities are going to be happening. And, you know, we're here to pick the opportunities. So I want you guys to sit back, relax, and let's go. So yes, the first thing, as you all know, I love to do is to be able to be aware of what to expect in the market for the week. So with that, I use the um, fast bull market um, to kind of check like immediate news and, you know, to kind of see news that are going on uh, and to kind of see what to expect as my economic calendar that means for the whole week. So I make use of this particular feature of the website um, to check what you should expect. Right? So um, I have of you know my uh, uh, my outlook. So I'm always looking for you know news that has high impact. You know, for example, look at this right here. It's got like the three stars, meaning it's a very high impact um, news. And I want to be able to check, you know, the date, like I want to be able to check what is going on tomorrow. You know, I want to be able to scroll it down to see what is really going on. You know, I've checked everything, but basically just showing you guys what happens. And, you know, I go into like, even sometimes I like to look at what should happen the next week or the whole month, because the market will always want to price what the, uh, what the expectation of certain economic indicators in the market. And also, you know, I make use of, you know, the 7 by 24 news. This news is so instant, I'm not making this up. And you can literally get like every news to expect, right? So now that I'm clear of what the market is, and I'm taking you guys along because I want you guys to be very intentional with your trade 2024. So the first thing I love to do is to go on the daily time frame and it's very simple what do i want to see on the daily time frame? i want to be able to understand the trend and see what the market is doing right i understand that the market is going on uptrend and very simple i love to identify the last low where the market is trading and you know so this to, to the high side right so now that i have that you know it, um, it makes sense to me now because i know the range yeah it's always a very good practice to know the range you're going to be trading through for the week right so i understand fully well that my range is right in between this point right so i could either find a buy or a sell as the case may be right so on the four hours time frame what i want to see uh is what is really going on in the market and for me, um, for me to understand what's going on in the market, I want to be able to understand the structures, right? Leading to the market, I said market making a higher low, you know, and I have other minor higher low structures right here. You know, this trade played out, we had a very good trade on this. And ever since the market has been moving up, I see that the market is reaching a very, very interesting area of interest. So I have two levels to the upside. I have this level right here, and I have the previous area of support right here, turn, which may turn into resistance. But so far, so good. The market seems to be rejecting this zone right here. So now, rejecting this zone right here is giving us an information that this could be a potential point of, you know, uh, 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 where the market could find, you know, a sell pressure, right? Because you can see right here, you can see right here, you can see right here. And if the market uh, should do that, you know, I might be looking at, you know, uh, I might be looking at this level. Uh, this would be my initial bias based on the four hour time frame. Now, when I go back to the lower time frame, maybe I could have, you know, something much more clear that would tell me what range I should be working with. So um, on the one hour time frame, what do I want to do? What I want to do is to understand structures with respect to the fractals, right? So what was the structure that built to this point? We had this point right here. Then we have a new higher low. And ever since price has been moving on this, then before price got into 
this consolidation right here before eating resistance. So what does that tell me? That tells me that I have these to be my base, right? I have this level right here to be my base, which is the most significant higher low as the case may be. So um, after the significant higher low, you can see that the market has been moving on, you know, multiple higher lows and the last higher low and the market going to this consolidation right here. So this has given me all the information that I needed. Right. And one thing that stands out again is this previous era resistance right here. So I have to be able to identify the zone out. Right. So I have those two zones right here. That means whatever trade opportunity I'll be getting, should I have a self confirmation, I'll be going to this point right here because this is the safest point for me. So um, on the 30 minutes time frame, you know, it's pretty much straightforward because like I said, after the market starts to move at higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, this is the most significant higher low, we got into this consolidation right here. So what do we expect? Um, my goal is to identify the last higher low. So what do we have in this last higher low? Uh, ever since the price hit this last higher low, we've been, you know, we've broken this particular, you know, uh, um, zone right here where the markets, you know, was trading from. So now that that has been said, uh, usually when the market breaks the last major higher low and it gives a very clear break and close, right? You always want to wait for the pullback, usually 61.8 level before you find yourself. So I go to my 15 minutes time frame to find myself. So I bring out my uh, 61.8 Fibonacci level. Um, you see many people think when the market breaks like that, it's going to keep going back. No, the psychology behind that is that the level of the pressure needed to break cannot sustain this to the downside, right? So we need more pressures, more buyers, right? To make it move as much as this, where they can be able to exert more pressure into the market before the market drops, right? So what am I waiting for on this trade? It's pretty much simple. I'm waiting for the market to get right back here. And uh, when I do that, I'm going to sell back right here. So how do I place my stop loss? It's pretty much simple. When the market gets to this point, I want to put my stop loss at the highest point, which is about 50 pips, right? And I will be targeting about 161 pips, which is a one ratio, three points, you know, whatever risk reward, which is a very fair trade for me. So my setup on this trade will look more like this. The market coming back to this level, you know, uh, at some point, my I will minor change the trend, you know, as the case may be, and you know we're going to be having you know drop. Now setting your stop loss at the point whereby the market demands that uh, uh, the market demand that you know your stop loss should be above the last high is essential because you don't want to get stopped out in your trade. I see many people make that mistake and they get stopped out like. A lot on the trade, so this is what I'm going to be looking out on this band. This is going to be my setup, so I'm going to save it. So you guys should stay tuned and you know expect me to update you whatever it plays out. If it goes on the profit or it gets me out on a loss, but that is going to be my setup for now. So see you guys soon. Okay, so this is the outcome of the trade. Um, you know I executed my trade right at this point and at some point the highest I went to was about 80 88 87 pips and profit and i remember that i took some uh, trade off because i was a bit skeptical about the movement you know just from a place of intuition then you know i re-entered a new trade right after the market you know made a third touch right here and this trade you know, my stop loss was right above the spot at that time because of why after the market had retraced this level, it has come back to break a structure and, you know, this would be the point of my um, stop loss. And I remember that, uh, you know, we had about 41 pips and, you know, the market went about 1 to 1.5, you know, at the highest point where it went to and I break even, you know, over um, the night and, uh, only to wake up to see the market has actually, uh, um, the market has actually 
taking us out. So now, in a situation like this, what do we do? How do we interpret? How do we learn of what happens? Now, the, the truth is this, and I want you guys to pay attention, right? There's a difference between a psychological induced loss and a technical induced loss, right? This is not a psychological induced loss because we did everything right we're supposed to do. We saw our break of structure, we saw our pullback, you know, and we executed. And the market even went some peeps, you know, at the first entry was about 88 plus, the second was about 74. Both of them are like one ratio of 1.5 at the maximum point. But then the market went against us. Now, does it mean that you did something wrong. No, you can do everything right in, in a trade and the trade will still move against you, okay? You can do everything right and the trade is still gonna move against you. So now in the situation like what do you do? Number one, you, this is where two things can save you, your risk management, your trade management. The truth is there's no strategy that is under percent efficient, right? But they could have a high precision rate, just like, you know, myself. But those little times where you know the, the 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 inefficiency shows up right how do you first protect yourself risk management and trade management right i didn't have to make unnecessary loss on this trade i was hit out on break even on this trade however what do i learn what is the thing to learn that's the next thing because why you want to join now you want to say okay since this is not uh, a psychological induced loss. What are the things I need to learn from it? The first thing I want um, you to look at on the straight is number one. Yes, we add our area of resistance right at this level, right here. But it was very clear that the market is still on a trend, right? By the reasons of the higher highs, the higher lows. Um, this is a minor higher highs, the higher low, which came back right here to give us a, a new one right here. To, for a continuation to this point right initially we had this level as our area where the market could be coming to however we in a, we actually position ourselves that after the market breaks this level right is in my pullback for system way before it reaches that point but the market didn't give us exactly what we expected right to this point right only for the market to reach back right to this point. So on the one hour time frame, we can see what happened clearly. What happened was very clear, right? After the market made us the higher highs, the higher lows, the higher highs, the higher lows, and you know, the higher highs, the higher lows, and all of this consolidation. One thing that happened is that the market, after it broke the support area, respected the support back, came back to find a double exhaustion around the support area and it's now pulling back to that level so what is the major lesson out here the major lesson is when the trade is in a grand scheme of a trend maybe the, in this case is an uptrend the best thing you can do if you're selling against the trend is to make sure that while you're in profit you break even just like i did right fantastic excellent job however if you are not good with trading a counter trend the best thing you want to do is to wait and see the reaction of prices you know right around this area if it hits this area then that makes it good if the market hits this area that makes it good you're going to find your entry and you're going to continue to the upside if it doesn't you're going to look at the area whereby the market is finding a reversal right here which seem to be right here at this area right here, I respected it back, and you could have found an entry right here to continue this move to the upside. If your risk reward is good, maybe it gives you one risk or two, that would have been a very good trade. But for me personally, this is not a good trade for me because it's considering the risk reward and considering you know the outlook and what I was looking out for. So the point is this, every trader is susceptible to loss, but how do you take your loss? Do you take a big loss? Do you, do, do you amplify your loss by reasons of lack of risk management? Or if you could have actually moved your stop loss to break even by the reasons of your trade management strategy, I, do, are you afraid? Are you super confident in the trade that you, know, you don't find a need to manage your trade? These are the things that could amplify your loss, but losses are inevitable. And I post this to show you guys the reality of Forex trading. I post these things to show you guys that there is no trader that is not immune to losses. 
I'm not just only going to show you as much as I have a high win rate. I'm not just going to show you just the winning. There's so much. I learn the most when I make a losing or a break even trade because it tell, it allows me to introspect further to see what the market is doing and to correct my mistakes, right? And to look what I could have done better. In this case, there's nothing I could have done better, right? All I could have done better in this case was to manage my trade, which I did, and you know, to apply the right risk management, which is fantastic, right? So going forward, don't be one of them traders that after a trade eat the loss, you want to move from your strategy. Because how do you get better at the strategy? How do you learn, right? Like I always say something, as long as your trade is not psychologically, your losses are not psychologically induced. As long as they're technically induced, there's higher chances that the market will leave you with a blueprint or with a footprint of something to learn, a footprint of new knowledge to, that you can use to optimize trade to get better. And I hope this has done justice to that, guys. You know, so far, so good. It's been January. Trades has been amazing. One ratio 12 on the last trade. Break even on this trade. And we stay up in profit, right? So see you guys on the next uh, video where I'm going to be talking more about what you should focus on this year in your trading. It's going to be a powerful next video and I want you guys to participate. Thank you guys so much and have a wonderful rest of the week.